Well, hello everyone, and as I am taking this video, it is 4.30 in the afternoon on Saturday, November the 16th, 2019. And uh, I'm leaving Greenville, heading towards Memphis. He's, he's a little freaked out right now because we just had a really loud motorcycle drive by. A uh, little bit of a late start. I'm going to be getting into the campground very late at night, but uh, there's a few things I wanted to talk about before I left Greenville. First off, um, Elvis is alive. <laughs> He's alive. <laughs> uh, next, while I was here, I had to do something I do not like doing. I had to collect eggs from the chicken coop. Here's how that went. The next part, I'm going to have to make myself some, some zombie armor. armor. All right. Rockadoodle, Shanty Claire, whatever your name is, you are not going to be able to spike me today. Ain't happening this time. Yeah, go ahead and try it. Go ahead and try it. Ain't ain't gonna work. Yeah, ain't gonna work. Wow, there's a lot of them in here. Ain't scaring me this time. Yeah, see what happens? See? Don't work. Don't work, does it? Yeah, it don't work now. Also, um, we had a little bit of a close call. Didn't we, Nestor? Uh, while getting my oil changed, getting ready to head towards Memphis, I had them check the tire pressure, and the uh, the rear passenger side had 19 pounds of pressure in it. And that was, of course, because there was a nail lodged right in the middle of the tire, and I, I went and got it plugged. But I'm thinking, how long, how long have I been running on that low of pressure with that much weight being towed and all the equipment in the back, driving it through the mountains? Uh, guys, we were close to having a tire blowout. I didn't even realize it. But anyway, it's fixed now. Um, also, uh, the, the package that Susie Marie sent me, she uh, I actually missed something that was in there. I went back and, and got the box and found it. That She had also sent some postcards with recipes on them. Uh, this one is for little peanut butter uh, and jelly muffin cakes. And then we've got butterfly lemon cornmeal cookies. And um, this one I will probably use. This one's very appealing to me. It is pork sausage jambalaya. Pork sausage. This, the package, if you guys couldn't tell, was very Louisiana themed. I think she's trying to win me back over to Louisiana, even though I've said I'm never going to work out there again. Um, Susie, uh, the reason why I don't want to work in Louisiana is not because of the people or the food or my experience out there. It was because of the sales tax situation. They wanted to set me up with an account that I had to report every single month. It was a lot of struggle back and forth to try to figure out what I was supposed to do, what I wasn't supposed to It was just too much. And it was like they were so worried about people coming in and winning thousands of dollars at the casino and leaving the estate without them getting a piece of it that they've put up a lot of blocks for somebody like me that just wants to come out there for one, one or two festivals a year. It's just too much work. So that's the only reason why I don't want to work in Louisiana. I would love to visit there again. I I liked, um, you know, Bourbon Street and the French Market and uh, all that. So, yeah, maybe I'll go back there again, but definitely not to work. Um, and uh, this, this is a, a note that I almost completely missed that Susie Marie had left. It says, hello, or hi, Ashley, hope you're doing well, and Nestor too. I'm so happy that cute little ball of fur is all better now. God is good, and prayer, uh, prayers were answered indeed. I enjoy watching your videos of your drawing and all of the other different things you put on your channel. 
with Nestor included, of course. I hope one day when I make it back to the beautiful Smoky Mountains that I can uh, get to meet you and can get you to do a drawing for me, too. I hope you like it. Uh, like, like, enjoy the little gifts in, I've sent for you, and hope Nestor likes the toys as well. Take care, hugs, love, and God bless Susie Marie. P.S. Keep up the good work. Well, um, we already know that uh, Nestor definitely enjoyed his toys. He loves the toys. All right, last thing before we hit the road is uh, I found out that Wendy's has got a birthday cake frosty to celebrate 50 years i guess since their grand opening um so uh let's hope it actually tastes like birthday cake it, it looks very different than it did on its advertising its little sandwich board sign there on the on the counter i don't see any cubes of birthday cake anywhere around on here but at least it does have the sprinkles which was an extra 15 cent <laughs> Okay, first bite. I'm already tasting it. Yes, yes. The, the 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 taste of birthday cake is definitely there. This one I approve. I'm gonna say this tastes more like birthday cake than the steak and shake, birthday cake um, milkshake that they had. Um, of course the the steak and shake. Once I dug down to the bottom, it did have a little bit of birthday cake actually in the bottom of the shake. So that's the pot. That's the thing that one had over this. Well guys, I better be getting on the road. According to Google Maps, it's supposed to take about seven and a half hours, but for me, never really being in a hurry and stopping frequently, we're talking probably about nine hours. So I'm going from the extreme east side of Tennessee to the extreme west side, traveling seven and a half plus hours and staying in the same state. <laughs> Go figure. All right, let's get on the road. You gonna be okay in here by yourself today, Nestor? <laughs> He's like, sure I will be. Anyway, it is about 10.45 in the morning the next day now on November the 17th, 2019. And we got to the campgrounds at about 1 o'clock in the morning last night. So here we are in Memphis. There's a little bit of stench to the air that I'm not totally understanding. It reminds me a lot of when I was close to the paper mill factory back in in Florida. Uh, it's a nice campground. Only about 15 minutes from Graceland. And uh, some really nice shower houses too. Let's go check those out. You've got actual private stalls here with doors with actual locks on them. That's always a nice thing to see. And, uh, and then this one here on the very end that's bigger, I guess, than the one you grab if you get here early. It's got actual benches in it and uh, a couple of shower heads. Good water pressure. This is nice. Very, very nice. What do you think, little buddy? I know you're probably a little disappointed you're not getting grass underneath your catio this time. That's his pet door, guys, for when he wants to go in and out of his camper. Um, and they've got a water source right here, a power box with no soap or toiletries or makeup tubes or anything sitting on top of the power box this time. And a, a grill and fire pit. We've got both of them. So I'm going to have to do something with one of these. Uh, cook up some hamburgers or something. It's 11.30 now and I'm right outside the Graceland Guest House Hotel where the convention is being held and uh, technically the registration is not supposed to start until three so I'm here hours and hours early uh, but I think that's going to be all right I, I this is a good spot for me to go ahead and end this episode so I can start the next one on going in and starting the convention uh, so if you guys have enjoyed this please hit that thumbs up like button leave some comments please subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to ring the bell icon Go over and select all so you'll start receiving uh, notifications of all my future updates. And um, yeah, it begins. Tune in for the next one to see what happens. <laughs>